Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. Welcome to the Grow Tent, everybody. You have found the best growing channel on YouTube, man. The place where we simplify the approach for you so everyone can learn how to grow. We make it so simple, even I can understand. So I'm going to listen and learn right now. Woo! What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Grow Tent. We got a great episode for you today. We're down in the lab today. We almost we got to keep that tent out of there because it's open. Uh, we're back in the lab today. Uh, I just want to do a quick video. We're down here working. As you can see, one of the tents are open. And I dropped my PPM pin. And it wasn't from very high. It was maybe, it rolled off this little, well, I can't show you. There's, I got a little table right there. And I reached over to grab it. And whenever I did, I hit my hand into it like that and knocked it off the other side. It fell just the, it's around two feet. So today I wanted to show you guys something. If you ever drop these things, they are extremely sensitive to drops. And if you ever drop them, you probably are gonna to need to recalibrate them. So we're gonna check this one live to see if it needs to be recalibrated. So, uh, but first, as always, the intro guys. If you haven't checked out our Patreon, you should probably check it out. Really cool benefits on there. Um, also guys, please remember to like, comment, subscribe all that fun stuff, watch the full video. Uh, if you look for a link to the Patreon, it's in the video description below. Uh, also, here's a real quick commercial from Mars Hydro, then we're gonna get going, we're gonna check this thing, see if it's uh, see if it's off at all or not. All right, be right back. Kind of cool stuff. Guys, you're looking for any kind of new light, new tent, new whatever, check out Mars Hydro. This is actually the second way the channel makes money. It's not as much as the Patreon, but it's still uh, a nice little bump. Uh, if you use the code WTTGT whenever you check out, you will uh, we will get a nice kickback and you will get a nice discount at checkout for any kind of new lights, new tents, new vans, etc. Mars Hydro pretty much makes anything you could want for your tent. They pretty much make uh, to help you grow. Uh, they've got great products. We've been using them for years. They've been the main chance supporter of the channel since we had only 500 subscribers. They've been a, a supporter of the channel and a sponsor. So thanks again, uh, Mars Hydro. Please remember to use the link in the video description below. Use our code, get a discount. We get kickback. Much appreciated. All right, that's enough. Okay. All right, we're back. We got everything set up. Uh, so what we have here is, well, I gotta put this over here. We have our PPM pin. We have, this is a pH solution for testing. Uh, we don't have a ton of it left, but we have enough. We have our small cup. We don't really need this stylet because we're about empty on this stuff, so we're just gonna pour. You just need enough to cover up your probes, about like that. So nothing crazy, but this is the end of the bottle, so we'll just pour the rest in there because it wouldn't do us any good anyway. All right, and Kobe. All right, we made it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our PPM pin. And you can see it's, uh, right now it's in, uh, it's in parts per million mode and until you get in some, some fluid in there it's going to read some it's already acting a little funny so we're going to click this over to pH and you just really need enough to where you can cover up the probe and this is supposed to read 4.01 so we're going to see if it's off at all it might not be it might be we'll see and we're just gonna you know since it's pH it takes a little bit of an extra minute to get there but whenever we get done with this it should read right at 4.01 Zero, one. All right, we're looking good so far. Swirl around a little bit here. See if we can get it. Yeah, you can see we're dipping a little bit below it. Looks like we're going to end up about a point low. So you can see this was, I always make sure that these things are uh, accurate. But whenever it took that drop right there, now we're reading about a point low. Well, not a whole point, but a tenth low. So we're reading about a tenth low. And we're going to have to adjust it to make sure we're back on track. So this is a big thing. If you ever drop these... It's a big deal, you need to check them, okay? So that's why we keep the fluid in there. And for all these pins, they're all gonna adjust just a little bit different. Now don't dump your fluid out yet because you're gonna need to recheck it after you adjust it. All these pins, they adjust a little bit differently. I'm gonna show you how to adjust this one. So we're gonna hold on real quick second right here. 
we're gonna put that down. GT's gotta <coughs> walk over to the other side. With a lot of these pins, some of them you don't have it, but with this one you have a little screwdriver that comes with it. So we're going to open, we're gonna pull out the screwdriver. It is a pain in the butt. And we need to adjust this up. So for this one, we have to take this cap off and the unscrews, it's watertight. And inside here, there is two screws. And one of them, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to where you can see it, there we go. But on one of them, you see it says HD. Let me get that light in there on that side. And then on that side, it says TDS. So <coughs> this screw over here is for your PPM, that's TDS. And then this screw over here will be for your pH. And now, usually, I can't see if there's any arrows in there to show you. Okay, so there's little circles in here that are super hard to see but there's like little circles in here. One has a plus on it in that circle and then one has a minus. So if we need to go up, we turn clockwise. If we need to go down, we turn counterclockwise. So we're just gonna take our screw and adjust it up. Let's bring this back in here. This is more difficult than it seems trying to find this little screw hole. And you can see we've won from three. Let's turn this up some. You can't see. There we go. Can't find the hole. Sounds like a personal problem, GT. All right, guys, and that's all there is to it. You will repeat that same process with your uh, PPM solution. Your uh, uh, your PPM testing solution, it'll probably say some weird number like 732 or 1496 or it's just some random calibration fluid number. Uh, you can find that stuff on any at any grocery store, at any, uh, yeah, on Amazon. It's basically, it's a lot of places. But anytime you drop those, and you should probably do that once a month anyway, test it to make sure it's it's still calibrated because there's nothing worse than thinking you're doing something and it's doing it wrong. So that one wasn't too far off, but I just wanted to show you that that was calibrated less than two weeks ago. And just from taking that small fall, it had slightly off, uh, made it off. So uh, remember to check that all the time and uh, you'll always be set up. Uh, in, remember to check your instruction manuals because yours might not work the same as mine, but you'll have some way to adjust it, whether it's buttons, screwdriver, or whatever. All right, guys, this has been GT. I hope you guys have a great uh, rest of your weekend. I'll see you guys later. I'm out of here.